So as the leaves are falling here in Manitoba, we still have time to do some foraging for a couple of other little things. Something I like to start stocking up on now is yarrow. So let's do a breakdown of why yarrow. If you are interested in trying yarrow, just as a caution, I am not offering medical advice. You should always, always check with your medical practitioner, whether it is a naturopath, a herbalist, or otherwise. And always be careful making sure that you are not pregnant or breastfeeding when taking any herbs without checking with your healthcare practitioner. Just as a warning, yarrow is toxic to cats and dogs, so if you do put it in your house, just make sure you label it. Uh, and keep it away from any of your pets just to be on the safe side. We wouldn't want anything happening to them. Another question to remember, it is a member of the aster family. So if you do have allergies to any of the asters, please use caution. Yarrow can be used for a multitude of things, but the thing that I use it the most for is for first aid. So this I dry up and I crush and I use it to sprinkle on any types of wounds that we might have because it stops bleeding in its tracks. The reason that we use this in our first aid kit is due to its styptic and antimicrobial properties. It also can be used for things like irregular menstrual cycles, menstrual cramps. It can be used for loss of appetite as a diuretic, muscle spasms, infection, which is why we use that when we have any types of cuts. There are a few different ways that you can use it. Um, in the Civil War, uh, the story that I've been told, uh, they actually used to chew it um, and use it as a poultice and stuff it into the wounds, which is why it attributed to many of the Civil War uh, soldiers actually surviving the battlefield. Um, you can use it uh, in salads, they call toss it in salads as well. It is a good kidney cleanser as well. Um, it's a little bit spicy. There's lots of people when I do foraging classes range anywhere from lemony to spicy to really bitter. Uh, so it's always an interesting flavor to try out. So when you are looking for yarrow, usually they will be quite big in uh, non-cut lawns, but in the cut lawns, if you do see them, generally they're little itty bitties because they are getting cut. They will come up with a stem and generally a white flower, which would be the native Manitoba yarrow. They do have a little fern-like look to them and that's all that you really need for ID.